<laughs> so, Mr. Nay. Are you recording? Yeah, I am recording, actually. So, no, hey guys. Cool. So, uh, the Lord called us to Florida and just for this trip. I know he's showing up. Um, sorry, the lighting is not so great, but we'll make it work. Um, our baby is with Jesus. It, Esther miscarried. So um, she is actually at home recovering. Uh, and I'm seeing the body of Christ just come and really... Um, They just really just um, shine, and it's just beautiful. Um, so, just a devotional, I guess we do it in the morning. Um, I was asking the Lord what what He wants to share, and God requires a lot from us. It's but by the same token, only He can do it. Um, John 3.16 For God loved the world in this way He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life For God did not send His Son into the world that He might condemn the world but that the world might be saved through Him Anyone who believes in Him is not condemned but anyone who does not believe is already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the one and only Son of God this then is the judgment. The light, which is Jesus, come in, has come into the world, and the people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone who practices wicked things hates the light and avoids it, so that his deeds may not be exposed. But anyone who lives by the truth comes to the light so that his works may be shown to be accomplished by God. And uh, we love to hide even good works, and that, that's the sneaky thing, is the good works. You know, we, we, we want to hide our yuckies. Right, Nate? Yeah. You know, we want to hide our yuckies. Oh, well, I'm not that bad. So we'll do everything, like the pendulum effect, we'll swing it, go. So we don't want to be drug, drug dealers, boozers, womanizers, so we'll swing the other direction. I'll just cover it up. Look how good, clean I am. Yeah, I'm a good person. No, actually, you're not. You're worse than you thought. Um, the Lord showed me this. Um, it's not just enough to accept the testimony. you got to do it. And what is a testimony? It's not just believe and get saved. No. Because that just means, that is such a short-sighted, view of Jesus came yes I can believe and it's like check off no it does not work that way if you want to believe and get saved you got to do everything it says not do everything it says believe everything it says like you're not your own but with the price Jesus is Lord not just your savior John 3.36, the one who believes in the Son has eternal life, but the one who refuses to believe in the Son will not see life. Instead, the wrath of God remains upon him. And came across a quote from David Wilkerson. In fact, um, sent it to a brother. The world is not looking for more doctrinal proof of the reality of God. It is not looking for greater proof of the resurrection or better arguments about creation. The world is looking for Christians who can stand up to every crisis, fear, trouble, and difficulty, and remain calm and at rest in the midst of it all. The world needs to see God's children trusting wholly in their Lord. Believe and get saved doesn't work. You're not saved by saying, by saying uh-huh as Paris Reed had shared in his message, 10 shekels and a shirt. In fact, it is like believe and believing. It is a constant, does the, 
attitude of your life um, reveal that. Jesus tells us, I'll be your Lord today, tomorrow, and forevermore, and yesterday. You don't accept them as a gift, like, oh, thanks for this new pair of shoes, use them and throw them away. No, it's, is your life changed? Do you want to throw everything away that you have here and say, Lord, I'll take what you have. It's far better than what I have. And I trust that what you're going to give me is better than what I have. Believing gets, get, getting saved is, is, is just a... Oh yeah, I, I picked out a rose or... Yeah, I, I bought some cereal at the grocery store. No. Let's, let's use that illustration. You go from, I bought a box of cereal to, I'm a cereal buyer. I buy boxes of cereal for a living. That's what Jesus desires from a person. Not did you try him out and then go on to something else. Or saying, oh yeah, I agreed with him one time in my life. No, your lifestyle has to change and be reflected to show it. You know, are you doing... When the, when the scripture says to let not any corrupting speech come out of your mouth, are, is that evident? Um, again, it's not a matter of doing. Is It's more of, is it reflective? Does it come out? Is it a natural outflow? Don't try to do the Bible. You, it, this is not going to work. You don't do anything. Is it overflowing out of your mouth? And if it isn't, then you need to ask the Lord and say, Jesus, you're not welling up in me. Something's wrong. He's got to be in you. He's got to be fully in you, not just a, a shirt. Otherwise, the wrath of God is upon you. You feel, like the Old Testament says, the earth above you is brass and, or excuse me, the Heavens above you is brass, and the earth below you is iron. And you feel the curses. Are you anxious? Are you doubting? Do you have rage? Are you jealous? Are you discontent? Are you complaining? If those answers are yes, then work out your salvation. Say, Jesus... I have these inconveniences. I'm not getting what I want. Are you wanting, trying to get what is right coming to you? Somebody did you wrong, well, I don't deserve that. And, well, Jesus isn't in you in that moment. You're not believing what the scripture says. Paul said to the Corinthian church, why not suffer wrong? Your Jesus suffered wrong. Ought we, not, ought we not act like him and be reflective of him? That's what it means to believe in the Son of God. To fully, to fully peace to to put all your eggs in one basket and say, okay, you do it in me, I'm, I'm going to stop trying. And then do as he moves you. Have a different desire. Your hopes, your dreams, everything about what you had all has to die. That means believing everything that the scripture says. You know, I, I was an abuser. I was foul-mouthed. Which shows an evil heart. It means you're not getting what you want. So, are you at peace? Do you have rest? Is there always a song in your heart? I remember many years I never had peace. Is there thanksgiving in your heart? I mean, does it want to come out like, I'm just so thankful? Or sing a song? Or, in my case, not everybody has to do this, 
I am always weeping. At times I'm just weeping at the beauty and majesty of who God is and what he's done for us and the gift he's given us. That he took nails in his wrist for me. I, don't, I, I deserve that, but he didn't. Are you like that thief who says, Lord, you've done nothing wrong. Remember me, please. That's what it means to believe. If you say you're a Christian, you follow Jesus Christ, you've accepted him as Lord and Savior, and you think along the lines of how the world thinks, or the natural ways. Well, you can't just do it this way. That's, that's not how it's done, really. Well, you can't just get up and, well, if my God told me to do it. Now, uh, this is not a license for, for doing things like, I heard a story at St. Cloud, a man killed his girlfriend because he said God told him to do it and raised her from the dead. No, I'm not saying that, okay? If you're in the Word, you're, you are in His presence, you've asked Him to search you for sin, and there isn't any, and you've confessed, and, and you are walking in the purity of, of, of the Lord, assuming you're in obedience and you're, you are in His Word, then the natural things are of no consequence and now your gaze is, you know, is, is Jesus first thing in the morning on your heart, his word, songs, praising him? Do you always want to live for him? Lord, how do I bless you today? Lord, I love you. Do you always have love in your heart for him? If that's not, you need to ask the Lord, am I really believing you? Or is your wrath upon me? Guys, all flesh is grass. He'll throw it away. Live for him. Lord, I pray that everybody who hears this would be refreshed and fully knowing that you're in control. Jesus, that they would believe that everything you say is true, that they would do according to your word that they are not their own, and they belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, guys.